Hi all, welcome back to Easy School Works. In this video, we are going to learn what is the quotient and reminder when we divide a number with 10, 100 and 1000. So let's get started. Now, let us start the division with 10. Here we have our first example 796 divided by 10. Okay, in the number 10, how many zeros are there? Only one zero is there, right? So, in the number 796, the last digit means the digit which is in one's place becomes the reminder. And the remaining digits becomes the quotient. So, in the number 796, 6 is the reminder, 79 is the quotient. Okay, let us write here. What is the quotient now? 79. And what is the reminder? 6. Okay. Let us go to another example. Here we have the number 1235 and it is divided by 10. In the number 10, how many zeros are there? Only one zero is there. So, the last digit means that the digit which is in one's place becomes the reminder. So, what is the reminder now? 5 is the reminder. Okay, right here, 5. The remaining digits becomes the quotient. See, this is the quotient. Now, what is the quotient? 123, right here. Okay, now let us go to division with 100. Here we have our first example 8197 divided by 100. Okay. In the 100 how many zeros are there? See two zeros are there. Okay. The last two digits means the digits which are in ones place and tens place becomes the reminder. Here 97 is the reminder. Okay. Right here. So, what is the reminder now? 97. The remaining digits becomes the quotient. Here, 81 is the quotient. Okay, right here. Okay, let us go to another example. Here we have 56,045 divided by 100. In 100, how many zeros are there? Two zeros are there, right? So, the last two digits... See here, 4 and 5 becomes the reminder. So, right here. So, the reminder is 45. The remaining digits becomes the quotient. Now, the quotient is 560. Right here. Okay. Now, let us move to division with 1000. Here we have our first example 21,276 and it is divided by 1000. Okay, in the number 1000 how many zeros are there? 3 zeros are there, right? So, the last 3 digits means the digits which are in 1's place, 10's place and 100's place becomes the reminder. So, the reminder here is 276 right here and the remaining digits becomes the quotient here the quotient is 21 so right here 21 okay let us go to another example here we have 43598 divided by 1000 in 1000 three zeros are there right so the last three digits see here 598 becomes the reminder. So, right here, 598. The remaining digits becomes the quotient. So, here, 43 becomes the quotient. So, right here, 43. Okay. Now, let us do a small exercise. First one is 950 divided by 100. In 100, two zeros are there. So, the last two digits becomes reminder. And the remaining digits becomes the quotient. So, 
the quotient is 9 and the remainder is 50. Okay. Next one is 48 divided by 10. In the 10 only one zero is there. So the last one digit becomes the remainder and the remaining digits becomes the quotient. Here the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 8. Okay. Let us go to another one. 785 divided by 1000. In the 1000, 3 zeros are there. So, the last 3 digits becomes the remainder. What about the quotient? Here, we don't have any digits. So, the quotient becomes 0 and the remainder becomes 785. Okay, let us go to the last one. Here we have the number 25,697 divided by 100. In the 100, two zeros are there. So, the last two digits becomes the remainder and the remaining digits becomes the quotient. So, the quotient is 256 and the remainder is 97. Okay, I hope this video is very helpful to you. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.